What is up guys, it's Troy at The Full Setup here, back with another video for you. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I uploaded a video um, showing you the new features in the video broadcast. So these were the new audio effect and echo removal tool, and also the new video effect in the video noise reduction tool. Now, one of the great things as well in that video that I showed you was the ability to be able to stack effects. So you can now have multiple audio effects and multiple video effects. The only downside is, is that the intensity slider was leaked. So you had to have the same amount, you know, of everything in the audio, which did annoy me a little bit. But one thing we were looking at throughout that video was the GPU usage then. So I currently use an RTX 3070 and I wanted to show the usage for anyone that is using it as a maybe a single streaming PC. Let me just turn down. I got my voice coming through on my headphones too loud. So yeah, wanting to show, you know, the usage, you know, single usage streaming PC because when I actually cranked up all of the effects, it ended up being that it was using 50% of my RTX 3070, like up to. Now, since then, a few people have contacted me um, and spoke to me about it and said, you know, I'm, mine's not quite as high as that. It's still a bit higher than it should be. And I will have to apologize. I didn't actually troubleshoot it. I more wanted to just, you know, show you the effects and everything the broadcast had to offer and give my opinion on it. Um, so that's really my fault. That's something that I should be doing. Um, you could say that's a schoolboy error there. Now, I have since been able to find a setting that was turned on, which has reduced my usage, but I still wanted to show you all of that. So in this video, we're just going to be literally you know, looking at the usage side of things more than what the effects will offer. Now, another thing that I did mention in the video, but maybe I didn't make it clear enough, is everything that you're seeing now, including all my new shelving and everything we got in the background looking sick there, is being recorded through OBS Studio at the moment. And I am using the GPU to record it. So that is that usage as well. So I'm going to take you in. I'm going to show you the settings. Let's just have a look at the usage um, that we're using at the moment and then we'll start turning on some broadcast features so let's have a little look at the usage then when i haven't got the video broadcast okay so as you can see here we are running at about 11 percent gp usage video encode is set at 11 percent as well there and the dedicated ram gpu ram so we're using like 1.3 gigs of ram that's pretty much it okay little spikes every now and then the clock frequency is pretty much sat at 1725 megahertz when recording if i'm not recording and i'm just setting up obs it'll be jumping up to that but sitting around anywhere between 600 and 1700 megahertz it just keeps jumping up then so what was the setting that i turned off two suggestions that everyone was mentioning on forums game mode and gpu scheduling now i do have game mode on and i know some people are probably going crazy at home the reason i have game mode on is if you open OBS as an admin, that can help you out on the on encoder overload. Okay, that makes sure that it you know leaves some left leaves some GPU left over for my encoding. Okay, if you want to know a little bit more about that, if you're struggling with encoder overload, there should be a video link in the description for you to check out that I made on that on a few other things that I did. So game mode is turned on. The other one which I did have turned on and is now turned off is hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. As soon as I turn that off, it massively sorted stuff out. And you also need to be careful as well, just assessing this when I was doing it always, just other things that are open. Because I think if I open Afterburner now, no, I was not going to do it now, but earlier when I had Afterburner open, it was using like 15% usage. It's really stuff that just sort of spikes up and moves around any everywhere. So um, let's have a little look at Broadcast then and we'll see what the usage is like. Can't promise this isn't going to be the last time I mention it. What do you think of all the new backdrop and all the things behind me? Let me know in the comment section. Really interested to know your thoughts. So then we now have nvidia broadcast on and one thing i wanted to see just where i've been hunting around with gpu usage i wonder if that's minimized does that no no it doesn't and what if we x off it i just want to see if it drops the usage because of it having my camera twice on the desktop so that's going to say still running in the background not really a couple of percent there we'll call that neg negligible Okay, then. So I'm going to start off with the camera effects. All right. Reason is, is that I'm not a fan of the audio effects. So let's start off with a background replacement. And then we'll just have to turn on auto frame. So it's going to follow me around a little bit. 
as well so we've got both of those on and then we'll just take the zoom out a little bit for the auto frame so let's have a little look there we've spiked up to like 30 percent gpu usage our memory has gone up considerable considerable considerably and then we'll just turn both the speakers on i'm just going to run these super reduced because it doesn't really actually make a difference how you slide them let's have a little look just a quick test there No, it doesn't doesn't really do much. So let's have a little look then up here. Let's have a look. So OBS Studio has jumped to like 18% now. Um, the video broadcast is sat around 5% and it's a bit odd. I, I've actually shot this video a couple of times now um, just because of where I didn't have things quite set up um, properly. And um, yeah, it, sometimes it's broadcast is higher and OBS is lower. It all just varies on what you've got coming in. But one thing, look at this. Look at that. Can you see what my GPU clock is running at? It's freaking pegged. Freaking pegged there. 2000 megahertz. That is absolutely pegging my GPU. And we're not even gaming, okay? It's taken it up to its max clock rate. I think we were at 1720 before. So that's massive. Like, that is absolutely, you know, it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be putting my GPU under so much load. But we have reduced it down there. It's almost like half the usage as it was before. So that's, you know, really good to see. Um, and that is with everything turned on as well. You know, like I'm probably going to say a few times in this video, just turn one or two effects on and be done with it. Um, so that's just off. And to be fair, it's not really reduced it that much. So there we go then. Turning off GPU scheduling did obviously massively reduce my GPU usage. But one thing I found out from when I was researching that um, when I was looking into it is a lot of RTX 2000 users were complaining that about the performance difference when they went to 3000 it seems like RTX 3000 graphics cards are affected more when you would expect that they would perform better so obviously this is a beta software and it does need a lot of improvements I love all the features but it's just too much usage for me if you were a single GPU streamer okay honestly at most I would just turn on like one of the effects like the voice removal or the noise in the background, like, yeah, it's really cool and it's some really great tech, but, you know, it's I'd rather just use a noise gate, okay? Yeah, it's not going to stop, you know, a lawnmower going off next door or a really heavy air conditioner, but it does most of what you need to do. Honestly, the only thing that I could ever see myself using is the echo removal tool, but, you know, it's not massively needed when you've got the right microphone. Moving over to the video effects, the same can be said as, as well there. Okay, it's nice to remove your background if you just want like, you know, down in the corner somewhere um, of your stream and stuff. But green screens are really cheap as well. You know, it's great that you don't need to buy any of this stuff because you've already bought the GPU. But if you were going to be taking it seriously and doing it all the time, it's going to save you a lot less headaches. Because if you're streaming over the GPU, as I would have mentioned a few times in a the video there, you really want to be keeping that GPU usage under 95 90% so you've got that extra percentage for doing your stream or doing your recording by the time you turn all that stuff on you're really low in your gaming settings it's just too much too much of a headache for me but you know like I said in the original video if you were using something like teams or zoom and you were doing web coasting turn on as many of the features as you want you're not gaming at the time you know utilize it but you know they need to sort some things out it shouldn't be spanking the GPU that much um, especially on the clock rate as well um, but yeah, that's just my thoughts on it. So yeah, turning GPU scheduling off obviously solves your problem. I could have made that in a 30 second video, I know, but I just think it's always good to cover some stuff and show you some extra things as well. Um, let me know what you think about the new backdrop. Obviously, you can still see the wallpaper behind it, but I think it's massively improved. Um, make sure you subscribe and I'll be back with some more videos real soon.